BC Ferries is raising its rates at the beginning of next month, and some of you may be shocked to find out how much more you will pay if you bring a trailer on board. People who tow small trailers under seven feet in height are going to be hit with a whopping fare increase. Our Brent Shearer has more on the story. He's in our Mid-Island Bureau. A lot of people in the tourism industry worried about this, Brent. Hudson, BC Ferries is changing its rate structure. So people who tow utility trailers you mentioned, or tent trailers, well, they're going to be paying a lot more than they used to. Joe Radshin is planning to load up his trailer and take a trip to the mainland with BC Ferries. It's a trip he takes a few times a year. Like many, he didn't pay too much attention to the upcoming fare increases, but when he did take a look, he was taken aback. Before the 1st of April, we were paying $67.50 for the accommodation unit. After the 1st of April, that rises to uh, $99.25, which is a 47-odd percent increase. After April 1st, any vehicle and trailer combination more than 20 feet long will be charged $5.25 for each additional foot. That's up from $2.25, an increase of $3. You know, if PC Ferries wanted to come up with a fantastic, very bad April 1st joke, they've certainly found it. However, it is no joke. This SUV and trailer will soon be paying more to get on board a ferry. But not everyone is being hit with a big increase. This truck and camper will not. In fact, it will be paying less. That's because BC Ferries is eliminating the surcharge applied to overheight vehicles. It's more equitable to the customer to eliminate that overheight charge because, again, many of our vessels uh, don't have uh, a ceiling, uh, so to speak, and uh, we have just increased the cost for the extra footage. BC Ferry says less than 3% of its customers tow trailers like the one Joe Ratchin has, and so few people will see the kind of dramatic increases he's going to experience. You would expect that they would apply an increase if it's absolutely necessary, despite previous increases, equivalently across the board. Why penalize people who can least afford it and charge them these extremely high increases? While fares may change in the future, the elimination of the overheight surcharge is permanent, meaning people like Joe Radshin are stuck paying more for their trip on a BC ferry. Fares are increasing right across the board starting next week. Adult passengers will be paying an extra 50 cents. The price of a passenger vehicle will be going up by $1.75. And motorcyclists, they'll have to shell out 90 cents more to get between the island and the mainland. Hudson? All right, Brent here in the night. Well, Brent, thank you.